making this music that's really rooted in, in vocal-based style, storytelling, and you know, guitar, it's all guitar-based stuff. And then reclothing it in a, a style that doesn't just give a vague idea about it, but it really puts the, the personality of the composer front first and foremost, and it, and it challenges all the musicians to be at their top level, um, I think it makes a, a really interesting synergy between what, you know, what considered pop and what we consider classical. I got the final uh, sort of feedback from Sting, it was that he said, you know, he said how he's uh, he mentioned it very beautifully, actually, very uh, lyrically. He said uh, how, how you took the, the fragments, the broken fragments of my songs and uh, put them, just, just went into, into a flight. There's so many different styles mixed in the pot on, on this project. You know, there's there's a kind of uh, Afro-Cuban element in the Leo Brower pieces, and there's there's a, a kind of almost folk music or bluegrass kind of element to to music in four sharps, and you know, very obviously blues rock, blues and rock in in Labyrinth, and Dusan Bogdanovich's settings of some of Sting's music is is very informed by by jazz. So it's a classical project, but it covers all bases. None of these works are covers. I think what all of these pieces kind of showcase is that act of collaboration, of working together. It's not just about highlighting the guitar, it's about highlighting the ensemble and the interaction between the, the other voices. version, um, but Bill knew that I'd made another version of it for guitar and string quartet, and so he asked me about that. And then out of the blue, he said, hey, what about if you do an arrangement of Labyrinths? They approached, um, you know, they're essentially their heroes, their musical heroes, with with total respect, and and almost it's like I could hear the composer saying, "What can I do to honor this contribution to to culture, and still have my own voice come out." Uh, it's like, is it? rock and roll or is it serious classical music and it's somewhere in between and people were, perhaps were a little confused. Um, I think it's great music.